Hey guys, my name is David. Welcome back to my channel, Rattling Junkie. Today I will be breaking down my 2015 bear hunt for a jumbo bear. We'll go over shot placement and why I took the shot that I did, and go over some mannerisms and characteristics of big jumbo bears. So let's get started. So yeah, this bear, he came in from my right. I did not see him come into the bait, like circle the bait or anything. So I had no indication that he was there. I just looked to my right and he was there. I turned on the camera and you can see that he was lying down as soon as I got the camera on. So you see him getting up right here. Yeah, you can just see the fat and his hide moving. It looks like when he's walking, you'll see when he walks, it looks like it takes a lot of effort. And that's what we say about big bears, they walk heavy. Like it's just, looks like there's a lot of effort involved in walking. Although they're pretty quick, so don't let that fool you. They are, they are quick animals still. And he knows something's up, but the wind was in my favor. So I don't think he smelled me at all. And he couldn't get downwind. Well, he could, but I would have seen him. Just how this bait site is set up. It's designed so that... If the bears go downwind, you're going to see them, and they don't want to go downwind where they're in the open. Talk about putting a kicker on ice right here. And he, he was there for minutes. And now here he's going to get ready to, to walk away. So this is when you want to be ready with your bow. That's why you got to be ready. But as you can see, he didn't stop. And you can see again, he, he just walks heavy. Like if you, you know what I mean, right? Like it's just, man, every step is like effort. Looks like it anyways. And you can see here he's behind the barrel and he looks big. He looks basically as big as the barrel or bigger basically a barrel with head with a head and legs so here you just got to be ready you got to be patient you know go through your shot routine maybe take a couple deep breaths because bears that abate don't always just give you a shot right away so here he's going to get up and this is what i'm talking about being ready so right here, I could have shot him. And that's where you'd want to shoot him. If he's quartering towards you slightly, keep in mind that I'm to the, the left of the camera. So he's actually quartering a bit more than what it looks like on the camera. So I wouldn't necessarily suggest this shot for many bear hunters. But if you're experienced, you got to understand that you got to aim just tighter to the shoulder than maybe you normally would like. That dot could be even in slightly more, but if you get any more closer to the shoulder, then you run into the possibility of hitting the shoulder. And don't shoot them when they aren't on all fours. I don't like that angle. Organs just don't sit right. So I'm not going to take that shot. So I'm waiting here. I'm getting ready. There you go. I took that quartering away shot. And we are going to dissect the shot here in a moment. Looks like a good shot, but the arrow is hanging out. So when you play it in real time, it doesn't look that great. So here he is, freeze framed. We're zoomed in a little bit. You can see my green fletching right uh, behind the shoulder in line with the offside leg and on a quartering away shot you want to aim for that offside leg it's no different than a deer you're going to aim the same way and i'll get into shot placement on a bear in detail in another video but for right now we're going to break down this bear the bear shot right here and so i'm going to be drawing a line for the belly that's where I'm going to start, and then I'm going to draw a line just at uh, the top of the back, the shoulder. And I'm, if you aim in between those two lines for your up and down, you are going to come away with your bear. You don't have to worry about the length of hair. That Just don't worry about that. That gets in people's heads. Do not 
worry about that. I'm gonna draw in the middle line, splitting the difference. As you can see, the green vein is just below that center line, but you gotta remember that I'm shooting from a tree stand. So the point of impact is actually gonna be a bit lower. So I did hit that bear lower than what I probably should have, although it still ended up with a dead bear. And now when you wanna get your left and right, you're gonna aim for that offside leg because if you do that, you're gonna be hitting all those vital organs that you need to. And it's right there. So you can see my arrow is basically in line with that, that left and right aiming point. So the, the aim, the point of impact is pretty good on this bear. There's a few things that I would change, definitely maybe a bit higher up on the bear. But other than that, I think the, the left and right is pretty, pretty good. So let's just watch the video again in normal speed. And it does look ugly because the arrow is hanging out quite a bit. So that's why people give me grief, as I've said before. And it's dangling. It looks like that. That's what I was concerned about too when I saw the shot. But it actually was a good shot as, as you're starting to see. Let's freeze frame that and let's draw a line down the center of the body. As you can see, it's getting right up into the chest cavity. So that arrow is getting right into there. It's only one hole because of the, the two inch blade cutting diameter and the angle, but it's right in there. The bear died quickly. It was basically 15, 51 seconds from the time I shot it to the death moan. And again, slow motion. See it right here. So yeah, just like I said, maybe a tad higher. I could have went up. Freeze frame it here. Again, you're going to see that it's perfect. It's pretty near perfect, um, the angle of that arrow. And it's getting up into the chest cavity. So that was a dead bear. And like I just said, it took 51 seconds from the point that I shot that bear to the time that it started to death moan. So really, that, that's a good shot. You can't ask much more than that, right? I've had bears die quicker than that, but so that's a pretty good shot. Now I'm going to show you the, uh, the actual bear hide and the hole that it made. And I'll kind of set the, the hide up uh, just on some chairs here and just kind of give you a, a better visual perhaps of what it, what it looks like. All right. So this is the wound right here. It's, what is it, just at three and a half inches long. You got to take into consideration that it has dried up. The hide has dried up, so it's contracted and tightened up. So the hole would have been a bit bigger. But definitely sufficient to kill this bear. I have the bear set up on some chairs. So the shot, I will show you, is right here. There's the front shoulder, or the front leg. Shoulder would be in here, and the bear was quartering, so it would have been approximately like this. So you would see from the top view down, it is getting right into the offside leg. So again, right there, or in line, right there with how the wound channel is right into the chest cavity. Okay guys, thanks for watching. That's the video. Before I leave you, I just have a question from a viewer named Patty C. I'll read it for you right now. He says, great video, man. Quick question for your next video. You mentioned that bears fight in order to build muscle and get ready for future fights ahead. Do male bears fight females for this reason and for other reasons? Or do males generally steer clear of females with no children? Thanks a lot, Patty, for that question. My answer to that would be, yes, they do bother females without cubs, single females, especially during the rut. I've seen it many times where the males come in 
generally subordinate males. They, they come into the bait. There's a female, a single female sow that's on the bait and they just follow that, that female and the female will generally leave the bait and you can hear them making all their sounds that they make and they'll kind of play fight a bit, but it's not to build muscle in my opinion. Obviously I'm not like the sole expert on this. This is just stuff that I've, I've witnessed from time to time. So I think what they're doing is that he's interested in courting her and breeding, breeding her. Generally, like I said, that's subordinate males. So that, that real dominant male is going to come in there and he, he might do that a bit. I haven't witnessed that too much. I've just witnessed the, the mature males coming into the bait. And then that's when we're generally trying to get a shot. So they could do the same behaviors as the subordinate males. So yes, to answer your question, getting long winded here. Yes, they will play fight, but I think it's more like the courting process rather than actually fighting to gain muscle where the younger males they're going to scrap each other and, and fight to kind of get a pecking order. That's what I'm guessing. And to build muscle, of course, they got to learn techniques, right? You can definitely tell there's some bears that are better than others at fighting. So those are probably going to be the more dominant males, I would guess, later on. So I hope that answers your questions or your question. And if you guys have any others, just feel free to, to post a comment and I'll try and get back back to you through the video here so that everyone can see the answers. So thanks a lot for tuning in and see you guys next time.